folks. In this video, I want to start populating this panel down here. So I want to put in the player names and their health and then add in some health bars as well. So I'll start off with player names and health, uh, which means I'll need to put in some text onto the screen. But in Pygame, you can't put text directly onto the screen. You have to take the text, convert it into an image, and then blit that image just like I've done with the rest of the pictures here using the blit function onto the screen. So for that, I'm going to create a new function. Now I've got this draw BG and draw panel. So just above them, I'll create a new area. I'll add a comment to say, create function for drawing text. And this is going to be define def draw underscore text. And the arguments that it's going to take are text, then font, then text underscore color, uh, X and Y. So what I do with this, like I said, is you take the text that it feeds in and then you convert it into an image. So I'm going to store that in an image variable and I use the font dot render function. I take the text and the text color and that creates a picture for me. So once the picture is created, I need to make sure that it's displayed on the screen. So I say screen.blit, I feed in the image and the X and Y coordinates. So that's it, that's the function created, but I need to create, define a couple of things before I can actually use it. And those are fonts and some colors for me to use. So I can just scroll up a little bit here where I've got my game window being created. Uh, just below that, I'll add a little section and I'll say define fonts. And the only font that I really need for now is, well, I'm actually going to use just the one font throughout this game. So I say font, which is my font variable, equals pygame dot font dot sys font. And pay attention to the capitals here for S and F. And then you just choose in the font that you want to use. So I'm going to just go with Times New Roman, but you can try any font you like in here. Uh, and then you have to give it the size. So I'm going with 26. So my font is defined, I need to define a couple of colors. So let's add a section here that's going to say define colors. And the only ones I really need are red and green. So these are RGB values. So I can say for red, it's 25500. And for green, it's 02550. So with these defined, I can now start putting text on the screen. And what I want to do is just with this panel, I just want to add in the names of the player and the bandits and then their health. So I've already got this draw panel function and at the moment it doesn't have much in it, it's just putting onto the screen this panel image. So I could just add some more detail onto it. Underneath it, I can add in the text that I want. So I'll add a comment here to say show night stats. Uh, and actually before I draw that rectangle, I'll add another comment above to explain what that's doing. Draw panel rectangle. So that's explaining what this code down here is doing, and then I'm going to add the night stats underneath. So now that I've created this draw text function up here, I can just call it directly from my draw panel function. So I can say draw text, and what I want to show first of all is the knight's name, and then his health. So I will use Python's format feature as well here. So I say F, and then I open my text, and in here, first of all, I want the name. So I put in curly brackets, and in here I put knight, which is the instance of the fighter class, and dot name. So if I scroll down to explain what's going on, this is my fighter class, and note that it has a self dot name. So that means that I can access that. Anything I put after knight is going to give me the self variable. So knife.hp is going to give me the health, dot strength will give me the strength, and I can access that for knight and for the bandits. So here I'm just taking the name of the knight. So it's going to take that, then I add a space, and then I want HP, and after that I want the knight's health. So I do the exact same thing, I add the curly brackets, and I put knight.hp. So this will only work with uh, with a later version of Python, so if you are getting errors with this, then you just need to make sure that you update Python, uh, and it should work fine. So that covers my initial first argument, which is the text. Then I need to give it the font, which I've already defined as just font. Then I need to give it a color, so I'm going to use red for this, and then x coordinate, I'll say 100, and then y coordinate. So for the y coordinate, I'm going to go screen height minus bottom panel, which basically just means that it's going to start right at the top of my panel, and I'll drop it by about 10 pixels. If I run this code now, uh, I get an error, and I'll just see what I've done here. It is because I didn't put these here in brackets. 
Yeah, so that coordinate there needs to be in brackets on its own. So if I run this again, there we go. So now you can see it's showing up night HP 30. And if I scroll down, this is where I created my night instance. And you notice I've got 30 here for his health. So it's accessing the correct variables. Now the bandits have 20 health. So what I should get when I show the bandits is their correct health. So let's just add them in underneath here. Now, because the bandits are in a list, it means I can just iterate through it rather than typing them individually. So I can say for count, uh, comma, I in enumerate bandit underscore list. And the reason I've done it this way is that I is going to be my bandit list items. So the bandit list contains two instances, which are bandit one and bandit two. But count is going to allow me to actually keep a running count of where I am within this. So what I can say here is show name and health, and I'm going to copy this code down from above because I'm going to be doing exactly the same thing, but I'm just going to be changing it for instead of night, it's going to be banded. But of course, I'm iterating through them, through this banded list, and I is what my bandits are going to be. So I change this from night to I. And at each iteration, this I is going to be either banded one or banded two. So I change that here as well, and that's going to give me their health. Uh, now, because I want this over on the right-hand side of the screen, I need to change this to 550. And now I want this to be kind of stacked one underneath the other. And to achieve that, I need to change the Y coordinate for each of the bandits. Now, because I've got this counter that's essentially saying I'm either at 0 or 1, I can use that counter here. So I can take this current Y coordinate, put it in brackets, and then on top of that, I can add plus count multiplied by 60. So essentially, at the first iteration, count is going to be 0. So this, this section here is just going to total to 0. But then at the second iteration, for the next bandit, count will be 1. So this will be added on 60 to the Y coordinate. So essentially, both of the texts are going to be 60 pixels underneath each other. So if I run this code now, you can see there's a gap of 60 pixels between them. And notice that the HP is also coming up correct. So it's picking up the relevant health from each of the instances. So I've added in the health, and I've added in this text that I wanted to do. The next thing I want to do is add in some health bars. There's a couple of different ways to do this, but I've chosen to do them as a separate class. So to create that, we just need to come down here underneath the fighter class. And actually, I've got a lot of room here. I'm going to delete just to make it clear that this draw method is part of the fighter class. So now I can create my health bar class. So I'll say class health bar. And then I start off with the init method. And the arguments that I need are self, x, y, hp, and max hp. So all I need to do within this constructor is just set all the selfs. So self x equals x, self y equals y. And then repeat that for HP and repeat that for max HP. And that's it. That's all I need for the init method. So now, of course, if I run this, nothing's going to happen. I need to actually define some kind of draw method. So that's what I'll do now. Define draw. And the arguments here are going to be just self and HP. Now, the reason I'm feeding HP back in is because as the game goes on and the players take damage, their health is going to drop. So I need to make sure this health bar is constantly being updated with their current health rather than the health that they started at. So these rectangles, or sorry, these health bars are just going to be two rectangles. The first rectangle is going to be a red one, and then on top of it, I'm going to draw a green rectangle. And the idea is that the green rectangle, as it as the player takes damage, the green rectangle gets smaller, and that shows that their health is dropping. So I'll build up in stages. First of all, I'll add on the red rectangle. So to do that, we just use pygame.draw dot rect and the arguments here are first of all the display window that you want to put this onto which in my case is screen that's what i've named the game window then the color so it's going to be red first of all and then you need to give the rectangle coordinates so that takes a self dot x self dot y for the x and y coordinates and then i need a width and height so in my case i wanted to use 150 pixels and 20 pixels for my width and height you can change these and make them as, as big or small as you like so with this created, I now actually need to create some instances of the health bars. So I can come down here underneath where I've got my knights and bandits being created, added to this list, and underneath I can start creating the health bar instances. 
So I can say night underscore health bar equals instance of health bar class. And then I just need to give it the argument. So the X coordinate was 100. The Y coordinate will be screen height minus bottom panel plus 40. Because remember, this essentially is telling me at what point in the Y coordinate or on a screen, if I run this again, ah, of course, it's not going to work just yet. Copy that out. Run this again. So my screen height is this entire Y height of the of the game window, but my bottom panel starts here. So essentially by using this screen height minus bottom panel, it's given me this position here, which is the start of my panel. So from there, I can use that as my reference and essentially just give my Y coordinate from that point. So that's why I'm using this for quite a lot of my positioning in this panel. So that gives me my X and Y. And uh, the next thing I need is the start and health. So night HP, and I need the max health night max HP. That's my night health bar. Now I just need to do the exact same thing for the bandit. So we just replace this night here with bandit and then the exact same thing here. Also change that to bandit, except it's bandit one and bandit two. So actually I need to change this to bandit one, bandit one and bandit one. So the X coordinate is going to change because I want their health bars to be shown on the right hand side. So that's 550. The Y coordinate for the first one is going to be the same, but the second one is going to move down a bit. So I can just copy this line and create the exact same thing for the second bandit health bar. So we'll change this to two and change this to two as well. I remember when I was creating the text for the health, I put 60 pixels in between them. I'm going to do the exact same thing for the health bar. So I change this one to 100. Now this is going to create my instances. And if I run this code, it works fine, nothing, there's no errors, but it's not showing anything. And the reason for that is I haven't called this draw method yet. So we need to make sure that I come back down into the code here and where I've got my panel being drawn, I can call the draw methods underneath. So I can say night health bar dot draw, bandit one health bar dot draw, and then copy that down and just put that to bandit two health bar. Now, remember if I run this now, I should get an error. And the reason for that is I've left this empty. My draw method takes a health here. Although at the moment I haven't shown what I'm doing with it, I may as well feed it in now so that it doesn't throw this error. So this is going to be for the knight, it's going to be knight HP. For the bandit one, it's going to be bandit one HP. And then it's going to be bandit two HP. So if I run this now, I should be able to get them on the screen. And you can see I've got these health bars coming up, but they're fully red. So it's basically saying that they've lost their, all their health. In reality, you know that's not right because all of them are showing their starting health. So what I want to do now is draw my second rectangle, which is going to be the green one. And it's going to cover up the entirety of this to show the fact that they've got full health. So let's come back up into this health bar class and update this draw method. So I've got this red one my red rectangle. So I can copy this line, paste it underneath and just change a few of the variables. So it starts off, it goes onto the same window, but the color now is green. Change that to green. It starts at the same X and Y coordinates, but now the width can't be 150 all the time. It needs to be able to adjust depending on how much health you've got left. So what I want is some actual ratio. And this ratio is going to be how much health you've got against how much health you started with. And that is why I'm taking this HP argument here. So I can add a little comment here to say, update with new health and I'll say self HP equals HP. So self HP at the very beginning when I created an instance of this would have been whatever the start and health was. So that would have been full health. But now as the game has progressed, the health might have dropped. So I need to make sure that my self HP is being updated through that. But now that it's been updated, I need to calculate the ratio. So here I'll add a comment to say calculate health ratio. And the ratio is just going to be self.hp divided by self.max HP. So when you've got full health, this ratio is going to be one. When you've got half health, this ratio is going to be 0 0.5 or 50%. So this is what I want to use to control the size of my green rectangle. So where I've got this 150 for the width, I can just multiply that by ratio. So let's run the code now. And you can see now they've all got full health, but if they were to start taking damage, their HP would be fed back into this. It would update this ratio and the green health bar would get smaller. The red one always stands underneath it, so it's gonna give the impression of health dropping as it goes on. So what I could do just to demonstrate how this is working temporarily is change the knight's health to something lower than his max health. So I can come down here in my main game loop maybe, 
Oh, actually, I could do that before. So I've created the ninth night health bar here, and I've given it a start on HP and max HP. So that means that straight away he's got full health. So this is just temporary. I'm going to delete this, so you don't need to copy it. I'm just going to say night health bar. Uh, no, actually, no, I want to change the knight's HP. So I just access the knight instance and HP, and I'm just going to make this equal to, starts off with 30, so let's make it 20. So if I run this code now, you notice his health has dropped to 20, and you see what's happened with the health bar. So nothing's really changed. The red bar is always underneath there, but the green bar is now 20 divided by 30 multiplied by the width. So if I was to change this to half his health, say 15, that health bar is going to be half the width because the ratio is now 0 0.5. So I'll just delete this so that he doesn't start off with a disadvantage. And that's basically it. That's how you add in text and these health bars. So if you found this useful, then please do leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with these, then feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.